Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Brame and this is Holy City Mystic. I just wanted to do a quick video on my top five books you should read if you're just getting into astrology or if you're interested in astrology and you're intermediate in your level of learning. Just so you know, my kid is about to go to the pool and he's really excited about it and I just sent him to go get dressed while I do this video. And then my cat is hallucinating right now and like chasing something weird on the wall. So if my kid pops in or my cat does something weird, that is what's going on in my life right now. So first book I wanna tell you guys about, will you get down? This, this is my cat. He's, he's a ragdoll cat so you can literally do whatever you want to him and he'll just kind of go with the flow. So he's really sweet, but right now he's chasing things that don't exist, don't ya? So that's my cat. The first book I want to talk about, it was the first book I ever bought about astrology and it is called Astrology of the Moon oh, by see. Amy Herring. Did you get dressed? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. You got dressed. Good job. Yeah. I got her in here and I wear. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, and tiger here. And tiger face? That's great. Do you, yeah. do you want to show them your tiger face? Come here. <gasps> Arr! <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep doing this video, okay? Okay. I'll be right there. I will be four seconds. It might take longer than four seconds. Okay. So Astrology of the Moon talks about both your natural natal moon and also your progressed moon. It was my first introduction to secondary progressions and she does a really good job of breaking down what each one means and how to calculate your own. The next one I want to talk about is just such a good basic teaching of astrology. It's called You Were Born for This by Chani Nicholas. I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I apologize. But it breaks down not only like the basic things like what it means if your sun is in a certain spot or your mercury is in another spot but it also brings in a lot of the angles like what does it mean if you have a sun square mercury in your chart what does it mean if you have a jupiter opposition from saturn so it just does like a really great job of breaking all that down and making it really simple another book i highly recommend is called north node astrology by elizabeth spring she does an amazing job of talking about the importance of the north node and the south node she goes through all the signs and also all through all the houses and she also has celebrity examples of each one which is so great because you can kind of look at their life and see how your life can compare to theirs and in what way do you share their strengths the next one i absolutely love it's called the cosmic calendar by christopher renstrom i've actually had the privilege of taking a few classes from him and his stuff is just so great. He does such a great job in bringing in the mythology of astrology and also just the story of it, the story of the planets, the story of what you're looking at. And I really cannot recommend him enough because he just makes it so simple and so basic and so easy to process. The last one I will talk about is called Moonology by Yasmin Bolin. She is so fun. Her books are, I she wrote the Mercury Retrograde book and then also the Moonology book. And it is really good at using astrological magic. So actually following the moon cycles and incorporating them into your own life. She does a really amazing job at breaking everything down, making it simple and talking about the energies of each moon cycle. She goes into where your moon is, how to calculate what house each new moon and full moon is in your chart, and also what to do during those times and what energies you can try to call in or release. So those are just five of my absolute favorite books if you're into astrology and want to learn more and also want to add to your personal library. I hope you guys enjoy that. If there's any books I did not mention that you are also really excited about or whatever you're reading right now, please drop them in the comments because if I haven't read them, I definitely want to check them out. Talk to you later.